Many times I hear the question, uh, what's better, sending people uh, to discover other planets or, or rovers? While I don't think there is a definite answer, uh, there are advantages and disadvantages to both. Uh, there are some clear differences between the two types of mission. For example, if you are sending a rover to, let's say, Mars, that rover doesn't need uh, air, water, food to survive. So you can just pack it in uh, a little uh, spacecraft and uh, send it on its uh, merry way to Mars and it will happily sit there in deep space, in vacuum, on the journey until it actually lands on Mars and uh, it comes back to, to life. With people you cannot do that, uh, you need to actually keep them alive on the way. You actually have to be absolutely sure that it's safe and you can land them on that planet. Because uh, if there is an error, you, you lose people. While if you lose a rover, you just um, lost some uh, expensive hardware. But uh, ultimately, it's uh, expendable. You can just build another rover. Humans are very good at adapting to new uh, situations so they can change the mission quickly. If they spot something which is more interesting than the scientists previously thought, they can change the mission and do that instead of the mission, while rovers are generally designed for a specific task. They are far less adaptable uh, than humans. So while rovers we can leave on other planets, uh, the astronauts will need to come back and that's actually a major advantage because they can bring samples back from that other planet which then we can analyze down here on Earth. For example, the moon rocks uh, returned by the Apollo mission are still being analyzed uh, down here on Earth. There are still new things we can find out from them. Of course, it adds quite a lot of cost to the mission, so human missions are far more expensive.